and then I'll feign a jab so when his guard comes down I'll, go, I'll take open that opening there. I'll just show you, what I'll show you with that then. What I'm doing is creating an opening, I'm making windows. What I'm going to do is hit him hard here to draw his guard. Now you see the little gap I've created there, even if he only moves his guard a little bit, I only need that gap there. So what I'm doing is bash, I'm hurting him, bash, bash, okay? So you see what I'm doing, I'm, I'm moving his guard around, this is by tactical play. All I've got to do in the end is flick my shoulder, and then I move him. That also gives me momentum for my attack, because I'm going crack here, crack, and I move right in, and I've got a big knockout punch. If you keep throwing out the guard, he doesn't have to deploy it. What I want him to do in military terms is I want him to fight on two fronts. So I'll make his guard come down to here to protect the abdomen. When it comes down, I've made an opening. I can do the same with the right cross. Boom, it's here. So I hit him with the right cross. Boom, see? So I'll come into here, here. And in the end, you're just flicking your shoulder and I'm creating openings. So I'll come into here, boom, I'm coming around. Or I'm coming to here, boom, I'm coming around with a hook. One of my favourite ones was just to come from here, flip my shoulder, boom, and then come around with a big hook. So we're making openings by feigning the tap. If you include your feet, you can come to here. You can come up with your feet here, boom, boom, creating openings again. All I've got to do is kick him in the leg, or kick him in the groin, to draw his gut up here, boom, and come in. Okay, but this again takes a lot of practice. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the lads in um, and you can just watch them hitting the pads um, and practicing some of the faint techniques.